Do you find yourself wanting to grow tomatoes, but you don't have a garden? You live in an apartment, you have a patio, but yet you want to grow tomatoes. Hi, this is Gary with Successful Gardens. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about five tomato plants that you can grow in containers that do very well, whether they're in a five gallon bucket. There's some um, tomatoes that will actually grow in hanging baskets. Just because you don't plant tomatoes in the ground doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the fresh flavors of homegrown tomatoes. The first tomato I want to talk about is called Bush Champion. The Champion tomato comes both in a bush form or a determinate type or a tall, big, indeterminate type. So make sure that if you're buying it for a container that you get the Bush Champion. It's a shorter day tomato. Um, producing tomatoes in about 65 days. Um, it's actually one of the better, um, larger type, slicing type tomatoes um, that does well in, in containers rather than in a regular garden. Um, the Bush um, Champion um, is a compact plant. It grows about 24 inches tall, and it's a very heavy and pr uh, prolific producer. So you're going to get a lot of eight to 12 ounce size um, tomatoes, flavorful. Um, that's going to be about the size of a tennis ball. So if you can imagine a tennis ball, um, the Bush Champion is going to give you a great um, flavorful um, round shaped tomato. And it's a, a great performer in all regions. So very adaptive, um, disease, disease resistant, does well. Um, whether it's extra humid or drier climate, uh, higher region or coastal. So the Bush Champion is a, an all-around great slicing tomato for a, to grow in, on, in your patio gardens. All right, Bush Early Girl. Now, I'm not a fan of Early Girl tomato, um, but the Bush Early Girl has a little better flavor than the regular um, Early Girl tomato. Uh, but the bush early girl is a 54 day so it's a really short um, type of um, tomato um, small fruits um, about four inches in size um, it's a sister to the the early girl uh, tomato that I've, I've, I've talked about but it's so much better it has more flavor it it tastes like a tomato and that's one of the reasons i don't like the regular garden early girl tomato but the the bush early girl is a great tomato that has the the fruits are firm they're meaty they're great for salads um, and slicing and so um, it is a good tomato to to grow in a in a container there's a variety called better bush it's a little longer it's a 68 day tomato it has a strong central stem so it's going to, to grow a little taller um, it can actually reach out um, in the three, it might push four feet, but it usually stays around um, the three foot mark. Um, one of the smaller tomato cages is a great um, support system for it. They say staking isn't required for this, but I always stake all my tomatoes. It just keeps them up off the ground. Um, and where the better bush grows a little taller, um, I just like to make sure that my my plants are up off the ground. But in a container, there again, you could stake it, but it doesn't require staking. Um, you'll get large four inch tomatoes. Um, they're sweet, they're meaty, um, it, but there again, they have that great tomato flavor that you definitely can't get in a grocery store. So think about um, planting a better bush tomato for a great tomato experience on your for your your t container gardening mountain man um, mountain man is a 73 so even pushes a little longer than what better bush is but mountain man um, is a large beefsteak type tomato um, it has about eight and a half so a half a pound um, size fruit uh, but being a beefsteak that's going to give you um, almost that one slice tomato sandwich type of, of tomato. Uh, but Mountain Man is, if you're looking for a beefsteak in type tomato for um, a container garden, look for the Mountain Man. 
It has great delicious flavor. It's a perfect blend of the sweetness, but the tanginess. So you taste the sweet and it just gets you um, with the tanginess um, as the bite goes on. Um, it has a high yield potential and it, it harvests or it produces for a long period of time. And so um, it's, it's, if you want a heavy producing type of tomato um, in a container, I would consider finding the mountain man. The last tomato I want to talk about is called Patio Choice. That name should be a hint or tell you that it's going to be um, a smaller plant. Um, this is one, um, it, you can grow it in a small bucket, um, a small pot on the, on the patio, or one thing that I've, I want to try um, and I haven't done it yet, is to actually plant this variety of tomato in a hanging basket. Um, and so that I can have it on the back patio and I can just, you know, as I get out there, I can just pull the the, the fruits off of the hanging, um, the, the tendrils or the vines. Um, with Patio Choice being, um, you know, in a hanging basket, um, that gives reason to the size of of the fruit. They're going to be little half ounce bites of flavorful tomatoes. Um, so it, it would be considered or classified in, in the cherry tomato um, classification of, of types. Uh, but it's great for, for snacking. And like I said, to be out on the patio in a, in a warm or a cool summer evening and just being able to pick off tomatoes without having to go out to the garden would be great. Just have it right there. Patio Choice is, is that perfect little small compact um, tomato for anybody's backyard or patio um, garden. So think about Patio Choice. Hopefully you, uh, with these five varieties of tomatoes, um, there's, there's lots more um, varieties of tomatoes that do well in patios and depending on the size of pot you can you can grow almost any type of tomato and if your pot is large enough you just have to remember the pot has to be big enough to support the plant but these particular ones will grow in your average size five gallon bucket sit on the back if you just have a small concrete pad in your backyard these five would do great um, for anybody Thanks for watching this video. Hit that like button. Um, I appreciate that, that you do. It tells me that you, you find these videos helpful and meaningful and, and helping you have a successful garden. Until next time, this is Gary with Successful Gardens. And remember, let's get growing.